April and welcome to another installment of Age Z Gaming. This week I'm going to talk about the new console gaming add-ons and their pros and cons. First on the chopping block is the Xbox 360's Kinect. With new and exciting innovative technology, the people at Microsoft are finding a way to throw away the controller and use your body to con control through a game. With spoken commands and gestures, almost anyone can seem to use the Kinect, which widens the boundaries in the gaming audiences. It's exciting technology and I can't wait to see what it will spawn next. The only cons I've noticed is that people who are experienced in gaming will feel a little bit less in control with games. And since it's new, there's only a few games and none really appeal to the normal crew who would play the Xbox. In my opinion, out of the two, I would definitely prefer this one. I mean, come on, this looks pretty sweet. Next up is the Sony's Move. With two controllers, this console add-on looks a lot like its competitors at Nintendo. Although the quality of the gameplay will kick Wii's low resolution gaming in the butt, I still can't help seeing what's innovative about the system. The accuracy of the move is absolutely flawless, and Sony did do something right and improve on what the Wii sometimes lacked. The games out with it right now aren't really the best, but I suppose it would still be cool to check it out. In my opinion, though, I really don't think it's worth buying the iToy and the controllers. In recent gaming news, Nintendo has released the date of when their exciting new console, the 3DS, will be making appearances. On March 27th, the system will be released for $250 along with 30 other titles, including The Legend of Zelda. Well, that's all I have time for you today. Back to you guys in the studio.